In today's episode, Dash unveils its plan for side chains and Binance, the new Binance US exchange has now listed Dash with USD trading pairs. There's more where that's coming from, so don't go anywhere. Hi everyone and welcome to the Dash News Recap. My name is Heidi and this video is dedicated to keeping you up to date on all of the recent Dash News highlights. Links to all of these news stories can be found down below, so let's get started. There's an exciting new development for Dash this week, so let's get into it. This week, Dash Core released an update on its plans for the platform chain, the upcoming Dash platform to handle data for decentralized applications more efficiently. The platform chain will run only on the Masternode network on a side chain to enable more efficient and cheaper resource usage, easier data verification for light clients, faster state transition finalization for better UX, and a decreased risk to the core network functionality. The plan Dash has laid out will allow the network to have more advantages compared to other networks that run their DAP services on the main chain that can clog the network, such as the Ethereum network. Lots of new services and platforms have begun to integrate Dash, so let's take a look and get you all caught up. Binance US, the United States arm of the top cryptocurrency exchange Binance, will be adding Dash with a USD pair to its exchange. This is a significant step considering the regulatory hurdles of a cryptocurrency exchange in the United States, especially with direct pairs against the dollar. Dash has been steadily growing its exchange integrations and instant send exchange support, including Coinbase. The growing exchange liquidity makes Dash more appealing to consumers and e easier to get, along with aiding in the reduction of the strength of Bitcoin's price movement effects on the whole cryptocurrency market. eToro, the popular cryptocurrency trading website, is partnering with The Tie, a cryptocurrency information services firm, to implement a Twitter sentiments trading portfolio, which lists Dash as its largest position. At the launch, Dash made up around 47% of the portfolio, and the portfolio will be released on a monthly basis. The fact that Dash is such a major part of the long-term focused index indicates that Twitter users are discussing Dash favorably for the feature sets that it offers to consumers and merchants. Here are some media highlights that have featured Dash. If you haven't watched these yet, I recommend that you do. This week on the Dash podcast number 126, the guys are joined by Dash platform product owner Data Alibrandi and Dash platform developers Anton and Ivan to talk about the upcoming network developments. They discuss the ability of Dash Drive to store data and how they are working to make it function efficiently decentralized while still being affordable and have future buildability by developers. Thank you for watching the Dash News Recap. I hope that you found this video to be informative. Links to all of this information, again, can be found down below. And I look forward to reading your comments. But don't stop there. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's bye for now, but stay dashy.